So today we're going to talk about a new survival game on the horizon, Hunt Showdown by Crytek. We had some new gameplay footage show up during E3 2017, so I thought we'd take a look. Set in the late 1800s and each match lasting anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour, you and potentially a friend are bounty hunters. And you will be looking to collect your bounty on all manner of evil that has crossed to our plane. In this gameplay shown, we're in the murky Louisiana swamps. And inside this setting, it is nighttime, so anything you do can alert other players roaming the area. That's right, it's PvP, online survival with AI, sharing some similarities to something like Escape from Tarkov, but this looks more my style. What we're watching now is players enter the world with a pre-selected loadout. Of course, if they die five minutes in, it's permadeath. They lose all that gear they just loaded in with, and that character. If you manage to survive more than five minutes, there'll be drop zones you can loot, other players you kill, other players somebody else killed, and bounties to collect. A basic rundown for the lore of Hunt Showdown is that you're bounty hunters. In the 1800s, an evil has crossed to your plane of existence, and you must eradicate them. The maps contain a boss monster, which is your main score of bounty. There will be several clues around the map for you to find and utilize in hunting down and locating the boss. These target boss monsters, though already hard to find, are randomly decided every time out of an available roster of monsters, and dynamically placed at one of 15 potential locations across the fixed map. If a player does manage to locate the boss using the clues, an area on the map will burn away, locating to all of the players on the server where the boss is. And of course, as all players' main source of income, all of the players are going to swarm to that location, and that's where the hunt showdown begins. Here, you can either choose to hold your ground and fight to keep your bounty, or flee as quick as possible and find your way to the I've exit. This, like I mentioned before, is it's a legitimate strategy for other players to just ignore the clues, ignore the target, and hunt the other teams who are hunting the target. Yeah. You yeah. can stalk another series of hunters yeah. going out there. Just... If by chance another player or players do manage to kill you, they will then collect the bounty from you. So let's hope that doesn't happen. As players, you will be equipped with some supernatural powers to help you locate clues, but doing so, you will have to fight off some lesser monsters. Some of them being special types, like the Hive, which is some poor soul that has been infected with deadly mosquitoes bursting from their insides. Hey guys, where should I go? No, and that's that's just a crazy. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's crazy. She just wants to give you a big nasty hug. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw uh, me opening five she's minutes. She's full of bugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's a long-range enemy with like swarm bursting out of her chest. Oh my god, you're <laughs> terrible. You can't see it too well in this footage here, but here's a high-res screenshot. You wouldn't want to run into this young lady in an alleyway on the way home from the pub. Ugh. So between skulking around in the murky Louisiana swamp, fighting off lesser monsters like zombies and leeches, scavenging loot and fighting intense PvP action with up to 10 other players on any server in a roughly one kilometer square map. Designed for fast-paced shits and giggles, I could see Hunt Showdown becoming a very entertaining game indeed to stream. As always, I will be keeping a close eye on Hunt Showdown's development, and as soon as I get my hands on the game, you will be the first to know, because this game looks juicy. And as always, all relevant links are in the description below regarding Hunt Showdown. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Hunt Showdown. Does it tickle your fancy? Are there too many survivor games already out there? Does it offer enough of a unique take on the genre for you to pique interest? Or does it give you the heebie-jeebies? And as we speak, you're already climbing into your wardrobe. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know, I'm over on the Twitters and the Facebook. So go check out those social pages to know what I'm doing and when I'm doing it. Links to those will also be in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you peeps next time.